Now what's good bro, I'm gonna teach you how to make your workouts quicker because ain't no one trying to live in the gym. We're trying to get in, get an effective workout, get flipping jacked and get out. Let me ask you, what would you rather? A workout that takes two hours to complete or a workout that takes an hour and a half to complete? Which one of these two options would have you more consistent in the gym? Answer is quite obvious. So let me dive straight in with tip number one on how we can improve our workout times, right? How we can reduce them. Tip number one is to have a fewer exercise selection or a lower exercise selection per workout. The biggest mistake people make, and this is something I used to do is, I used to think you need every single exercise and you need to train the muscle in every single possible way, every workout. Nah, it's just not like that. If I'm training chest, I don't need an exercise for upper chest, mid chest, lower chest, and then a fly to finish it off. I don't need four exercises for my chest. I can just go in and do one good chest press machine, or for example, if I'm training back, I don't need to do every single possible row there is, you know, a high to low row, a mid row, a, a low to high row. No, I just choose one good rowing machine, grab the flipping handles and hit some good sets on it. So the first tip is have fewer exercises per workout. This moves me on to tip number two. How are we gonna maintain a high quality workout if we're doing less exercises? What we're gonna do is increase the sets. So step number, or tip number two is have more sets per exercise. Now this sounds kinda against what I just said. If I'm telling you have less exercises, but out of the exercises you do have, I'm telling you have more sets, aren't you gonna spend the same amount of time in the gym? I would argue no. And here's why. The whole process of switching exercises takes long. Every single time you switch from one exercise to another, you have to unload the machine, unload the weight, move to the next exercise spot, load the machine, load the weight, hit warm up reps, and then you get into your warm up set. And this whole process of doing all these little um, laborious tasks, like, you know, warming up and adjusting the seat high and asking the guy, you know, like, yo, bro, like, how long you got left? And he's there telling you, oh, I've got another two sets, mate. Just, just wait for me, yeah, I've got another two sets. Like, that, that shit takes long. It really does. So you're much better off doing four sets of bench press as opposed to doing two sets of bench press and then two sets of cable fly. Stay on the same machine, so use tip number one, or the same exercise, just to add a couple more sets. Now, second point on this tip is that by adding more sets to the same exercise, a lot of times we increase the quality of the sets and the quality of the workout. Despite the fact we're getting more tired as we do more sets, the mind-muscle connection seems to increase. The way we feel our muscles, joints, and the movement pattern just seems to increase. Our determination to get and finish this tough four sets of leg press or four sets of bench press increases. And it just seems that more sets oftentimes results in higher quality sets, higher quality training. If you do just two sets of bench press, it will be good and you will enjoy it, but you might feel a bit like, eh, you know, you're kind of just getting started with the movement and the first set is a bit like, you know, rusty and the second set feels a little bit better, but it's not, just not quite there. But then if you were to do four sets, Maybe when you get to that third set, now you're in the groove, now you're in the zone, now you've got the movement down, your chest is warm, your elbows are warm, your joints are warm, everything's good, you're ready, you're ready to absolutely demolish the third set, then you're ready to move on to the fourth set and do the exact same. And just like that, you've increased the sets of bench press, you're now doing four sets of bench press instead of two, and you've also increased the quality of the sets, and you're saving yourself the time of switching machines, warming up again, da 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 da, da. So tip number two, add more sets per workout and use this in conjunction with tip number one, less exercises per workout. Now the third tip is very simple, supersets. Towards the end of the workout, when we get to isolations, a lot of them can be supersetted because isolations aren't tiring, they're not fatiguing, you're not gonna be out of breath doing bicep curls unless you're a bitch. So you can do bicep curls, superset them with tricep pushdowns, it's totally fine. Supersets is very obvious and a very known tip, so I'm not gonna spend too much time explaining it, but if you are pushed for time, especially on isolations, supersets are your best friend. Now, I don't know how much I'd recommend supersets for compound movements. I never personally bench press the straight away go superset with a row. They're just too fatiguing, and it's not just the local fatigue to the muscle, it's the systemic fatigue. In other words, you know that after a heavy set of bench press, you're not gonna be wheezing for air, but it's tiring. You can't just hop on a row and, and do a high quality set of rows. You definitely can't do this on the squats. You can't superset squats with RDLs. Hell fucking no. As soon as you finish your heavy set of squats, they're gonna be gasping for air. 
So I wouldn't recommend supersets or compounds, but on isolations at the end of the workout, if you're pushed for time, you'd be a fool not to superset the, the lateral raises with the bicep curls or the bicep with a tricep or just some other little shits here and there. So here's my three tips. Less exercises per workout, one or two more sets per exercise to counteract the less uh, frequency and number three, supersets. If I'm on your screen right now, I've kept your interest somehow, click the first link in my description to get your hands on my free training program. Bro, I absolutely love you. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.